and gents. <laughs> it is your queen of hearts, Alexis P. <laughs> And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole, a.k.a. The Little Mermaid. And you are tuned into a fun programming mm -hmm. titled Poor Minds. <laughs> We're a drunk moment. Silver thorn. Yes! That was so good. <laughs> so it's Halloween. We have finally dressed up for Halloween. We no. never dress up for Halloween. We never dress up for Halloween. You look so cute. This Thank is you, so girl. funny. Yeah, this is too. so funny. So, yes, we're doing a Halloween episode. It's about to get real scary for you homes. Mm -hmm. Period. Scary. You know what? This is what I love about Meg Thee Stallion. So what? random. She made a Halloween song. Everybody watch. <laughs> Everybody's about to make their Halloween reels every time it pops. Out, it gets scary for you hoes. That's gonna be everybody captioning. They do. It is. It do. It's about to get real scary for you hoes for this episode. Okay. Yes. And shout out to uh, Halle Bailey. Yes. You, you giving her a run for her Sweet money. On the sea. Okay. We gonna sing that today. No. Okay. Try. Why do you want to sing that? Because I I wanted to be uh Sebastian. Wish I could be. Ooh. Oh. And eight. Did yeah, you audition? Yeah. No, I didn't. You should have. I should have. You should have. I anyway, girl, what you been up to? Girl. Mm. <sighs> trying to adjust to this cold weather. It's cold as fuck. Y'all, it's so crazy how quick it's the weather cold. switched. Fall has arrived. It don't, it don't play, baby. And one thing about Atlanta, it be like windy here. Mm -hmm. Like, it be real windy. I be like, bitch, is this? Chicago. Is this Chicago, Georgia? <laughs> what is going on? Is this the windy city? Yes, it's know. cold. It's cold. So, yeah, it's cold. It's like, I'm trying to adjust to this fucking cold weather because this shit is different. You know what? It's and crazy. It's crazy because six years here in Atlanta, this is my sixth winter. Well, You're still not used to it. winter here. Yeah, I'm still not really used to it. Yeah, It's just same. not what I'm used to. So, I have... Let me just brag because about this company. Um, there is a company that sent me clothes. Mind you, people send me stuff all the time. Some mm -hmm. stuff I like, some stuff I don't. I really want to shout out this company because y'all know, obviously, I'm a little thicker, I'm a little taller. Mm -hmm. So I told myself that I'm like revamping my closet. Mm -hmm. I really want to find like staple pieces. I really want to find stuff that's going to like last me a long time. Like mm -hmm. I'm tired of, no offense, I'm tired of like buying stuff from Fashion Over real quick and wearing it once or twice and throwing it away. Right. It's really a waste of money. So I've been like revamping my closet, throwing out, I threw out like, well, gave it to Goodwill. I gave away like five bags of clothes, like so much stuff. Mm -hmm. So I got a package from this company called Ninth Closet. Mm -hmm. So their focus is on taller women. And you know, being a little taller and I'm thick, it's really hard for me to find like pants that are long enough. Mm -hmm. You know, every time I find pants, I can never wear heels with them because they're going to be high waters. Y'all, when I tell y'all the quality of this clothes, like I was... Very surprising. You know, I don't re usually talk about companies on here. This is not a pay ad, nothing, bitch. I'm going to put the link in the bio. It's called Ninth Closet, y'all. Please go order from them. I don't even have a discount code, bitch. They just sent me some stuff. And I, they sent me so much stuff, and it fits so fucking cute. I got, like, some airport outfits, little date night outfit, all the good stuff. So, yes. Hi. Yes, I've just been, like, revamping my closet. I'm really excited about that. Yeah, I've been doing that, too. I actually just got rid of a lot of clothes as mm -hmm. well. But I always used to get my my clothes to Goodwill. But then I heard recently that Goodwill be like, I'm trying to remember what I heard, but I had heard recently some shiesty shit about them. So I said, you know what? I'm not taking my clothes there no more, and y'all shouldn't either. Really? Now, do we know if it's true or not? I, don't, it, I feel like it was from a reliable source, Ooh, the person that I heard it from. You heard it from Will? Who is Will? The good one. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Bitch. I don't know. I thought you had some hot tea. I am weak. Uh, so... Okay. I also, so in other news, I also, I'm about to look up this Goodwill information. Ooh, get the hot tea, girl. In other news, though, I tried a new nail shape, and I don't know if I'm feeling it, because I feel like it's giving Geraldine, Gertrude vibes. <laughs> um, <laughs> you want me to give my opinion or no? You, you can. I mean, like, I feel like if they, if I would get them longer, then maybe I'll like them. This is what it's giving. You already have little bitty hands. But my nails, but my fingers fat, so I wanted to try a shape that I felt like was going to slim my <laughs> nail beds and elongate them. 
Don't do this no more. Why? <laughs> I didn't get a lot of compliments. I, I, listen, but you have. Nice I don't hands. know if I like it. The, the nail color's pretty. Don't do that no more. Don't do the shade. Don't do that Why no more. Why not? What's, okay, so what you don't like about it's it? It's not giving what it's supposed to give. I see the vision, and I like the vision. But it didn't execute. So what do I need to do for it to give? Because I feel like some girls off. be having the Geraldine nails and they be cute. Only woman that can pull off Geraldine nails is Beyonce. Because, you know, she wear her real nails. Mm. And I just don't like that nail shape. It's not giving what it's supposed to give. Maybe you need to try them a little longer. They're not ugly, though. I'm not saying that. Yeah, maybe I do. Maybe I do need to get them a little longer. Yeah, maybe you should just get them a little, a little longer. Try a little length on it. So, um... Yeah, y'all. So, I was trying to see what the little what tea, the tea was. was. <gasps> what? I'm reading the tea already. Oh, yeah. Less than one-eighth of the company's profit goes towards its charity work. Oh, so obviously the... Your donated items get shipped out to neo-imperialist buyers that threaten developing industry in third world countries. <gasps> Goodwill has actively fought against legislative proposals to raise the minimum wage. Will is... <sighs> Goodwill seized an archaic 1938 law to justify paying workers as little as 22 cents an hour. I could go on and on. It's a lot more facts. But yeah, so I'm no longer No, you donating. have to read number five. Okay. Many people with disabilities have actually died from injuries born of Goodwill's unsafe workplace safety practices. So, mm hmm Yeah. So, yeah. Like I said, y'all need to stop donating y'all mm. shit to Goodwill. I done stopped mm. donating mine. Mm. And Baby, somebody about to go to the local Goodwill. I feel and like you better off giving them on. to, like, giving your Salvation stuff. Army? Mm. Purple Heart Salvation Army. Okay. Yeah. Or just giving it to somebody that you know in, that's in need, like mm -hmm. a family or somebody that's mm -hmm. in need of clothing. Well, if I got a bag left, so if anybody needs some coochie cutters, swimsuits, pasties, I got you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pasties. Girl, I got it all. What you need? I got old stripper outfits. From my head. You still got your stripper heels when we did that video shoot. I still have my year. stripper heels from where I was stripping, bitch. I don't throw nothing away. Nothing. I still got our outfits from when we met at the club, bitch. Okay, I don't have none of that shit. I got it all. I been getting rid of all of that, but you want to know something trifling about me? What? Because it's a lot. When I was getting rid of all that stuff, I gave it to Goodwill. That's a good girl. Well, not, now you a bad girl. I gave it. Well, no, I gave him my, like, stripper outfits and stuff because I felt like, you know, somebody might want to get spicy for their No, but honestly, stripping... On a budget. First of all, let me say this. I'm glad that you said that. Stripping is expensive. Yeah. Like, when you go and that dance for your first night, those outfits be $60. Them shoes be $150. Mm -hmm. To even get you gotta pay your tip out. Why DJs be tripping. I don't know. <laughs> like stripping <laughs> is expensive. So honestly, if you live yeah, in you. Atlanta, like go check the Goodwills because I know they got some good stripper clothes that I gave away I don't personally. Want nothing nobody else coochie been in. Garfield is very protected and highly I, favored, and that's fine. I just don't. I just don't want nothing nobody else coochie well, been bitch, in. I don't want no hard. used pennies. I don't want used pennies. Times are hard. For people, now, shit. I feel like that's trifling, though. To give away used panties and swimsuits and stuff, that's trifling. Because all you got to do is go to Walmart and buy some... Like, Hanes drawers be like $5 a pair. Oh, so like, I should have did that? Yes. You should have just bought them some new panties. Why you was you... very fucking judgy, bitch. Bitch, I'm not judgy. That's nasty and unsanitary. It's unsanitary. Well, they ain't got to wear them, bitch. They probably throw them out anyway. The only reason I gave away my old little outfits, like my stripper outfits and stuff, is because we used to wear tights with them. So my coochie was covered. Speak for yourself. <laughs> you out of fucking oh, pocket. I used you was out of pocket. I'm not about to give away nothing my bare pussy was in. Mm, I mean... <laughs> wear panties, though. Okay. And so you I gave guess, them away jeans So I before. guess technically... Do you know how much of a strong coochie you have to have to wear <laughs> jeans with no panties? You do it, too. So what is you saying? My coochie's strong. Why are you trying to come for me? <laughs> I was just saying. Your coochie is real, real strong. Hercules, Hercules, okay. bitch. <laughs> This is what we not finna do, <laughs> Ursula. You're giving Ursula. This is not aerial behavior, bitch. Yes, it is. No, you bitch. are giving Ursula. Okay, I could be a motherfucking hybrid. 
What <laughs> Little Mermaid movie is this? It's the new and improved it, version. This is okay. This Ariel would never win this. This is the uh, what's like a black? This the fuse version. <laughs> the the two B version. Oh fucking <laughs> week. <laughs> Not as going straight to Tubi, bitch. <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> this is not. Okay, you know what? And what happened to your accent? First of all, <laughs> <clears throat> madame, mind your business. First off, bitch, mind your business. Bad bitch every day like Christmas. Okay? <laughs> Motherfucker topic, mm -hmm. bitch. Cause I'm not doing this with you today. Okay. Not doing this oh, with God. you today. Okay, so the first topic. You're mad, Cause I'm the star of <laughs> to be film. You know what? I really see that in your future. No, you don't. Tubi be paying, you tripping. That's fine. They you not paying good? me. You too good for Tubi? I didn't say that. I don't see that in my future. I didn't say I was too good for it. You always be taking stuff out of context. Yeah, I'm going to take it though. Because you messy. Yeah. I never said that. I just said I don't see that in my future. I don't see my debut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see my film well, debut being on Tubi. Well, That's all I said. Ariel Alicia, you ain't too far from it. The little whore maid. Oh, now my rhinestone coming off. You a ghetto. It's that water pressure. <laughs> okay, bitch, stop. It's hurricane that. season. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait. The hurricane ruined your yes. ball? Yes. I need to go, girl. Wait. It's rough waters down there. I thought Sebastian was, Sebastian did not get you together. Damn, I should have got me a little, uh, what is it, the stuffed, a little stuffed lobster. He, is I he a lobster? Yeah. He's a lobster. I thought he, he was, was a crab. Lobster. No, he was a lobster. Right? I thought he was a crab. You sure? I don't know, I honestly. I think he was a lobster. I think you're being racist. Yeah. You're misgendering and misidentifying him. Okay, I got a question, though. <laughs> I mean, so if shrimp is the roach okay. of the sea, then what the fuck is a lobster? Is it like a centipede of the sea? Or what? The lobster is a lobster of the sea because it is the sea. No, I'm saying shrimps are the roaches of the sea. S okay, so what is a lobster of the yes, sea? Yes, because they bottom feeders too. Lobsters are? Yes, bitch. Do they swim for real? I've never seen a lobster like chilling, so I don't know what they do. I've never hung out with a lobster. How am I supposed to know if they swim or not? How you ain't never hung out with a lobster when I'm aerial? <sighs> Okay, so That's lobster, crazy. I think I would say lobster is like the... See how she lies? I would say, I like lobster. Lobsters are giving the beans of the sea. Very tasty, high quality, good flavor. You can make jerk lobster, garlic lobster, sauteed lobster. Very versatile, just like beans. So, yeah. You cannot make jerk beans. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And I've made it before. You have? Yes. Mm. I know this work with him was too <laughs> funky. Okay. Can we start this? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay, so for the first topic today, I want to talk about do you believe that anyone can be bought? And we also have a scenario that we're going to ask after we get this topic out of the way. So do you believe that anybody can be bought? And if so, what's your price? Like, can you be bought? Hell yeah, but I feel like you got some real dummies that can't. You feel like some people can't be bought? Mm -hmm. Like, no matter what the price yeah. is. Now, I'm not going to lie. Yes, I do. I feel like you have to make a certain amount of money to be like, oh, I can't be bought. If you're un if you're not making a certain amount of money, you're going to be like, you're going to have a price. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a price. Now, once Shorty, you get to, like, rich... Hey, what's your price? Just to make it up. Okay. I was egging you on. Can I cheer for you? Owe me back like you owe your rent. I thought it was tax. <laughs> he said, owe me back like you owe your rent. I oh. Think. I don't know what he said. Anyways, so what's your price? What's your price? I cannot disclose that information. Okay. Okay. But I got one. You got one. So you have a number in your head that you know that you would be like. I'm going. You going. 
And it don't matter what it is, what they say. I did not say that. This is what, That's what I'm saying. This is bitch. what I mean when I say that you always got to take shit too far. Why? I did not say that I'm doing anything. Okay. I'm not getting scattered on. What's the scat? Like a... Come on, be my baby tonight. <laughs> if y'all watch Real World, <laughs> y'all, that's what I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> Zwee double, dwee double. Okay. okay. So what is a scat? I don't know Like when is. you like shit. It's called scat play. Scat play. Yes. So there's no price in the world that a man <sighs> could scat on you. Mm-mm. So if I said... You better scat your ass over there. So if a man walked up to you and said, I got $50 million for you right now. If you let me scat on you. You're going to say no? Mm-mm. You're going to say no to $50 million? No. Yeah, for that. Hmm. I don't want that scat pack. <laughs> and, like, nobody would know, though. 50 million? I'm going to know. I'm million. going to know. 50 million? I think it's just some shit that you just... If you are a decent person, you shouldn't be able to sleep with yourself at night mm. knowing that you did certain shit. I don't... Like that. 50 I don't like that. I don't like the way shit smell in no capacity. I don't like walking in the bathroom after somebody just shitty. That's how bad I hate mm, the smell of shit. Mm, okay. I don't like to even smell it lingering. Not okay. What about a a, a hundred ball? A hundred mil? A hundred mil. Ain't nobody offering you a hundred mil to shit on you because it's bitches who will do it for fifty dollars. Okay, now you pushing it. See how you talk about me, bitch? Nobody's getting scattered on. Zweed double dweed for fifty dollars. Bitch, Felicia would like a word. Okay. <laughs> Crackheads <laughs> would like a word. That's not true. How you know? I've been. I used to hang out with a few. Scat is another term for feces, and scat sex or scat play refers to using scat in sexual activities. Mm-hmm. Okay. How did you know that term? Just out of curiosity. I'm not trying to judge Somebody you or anything. Told, you can't judge me. I ain't did it. But I heard about it through From the grapevine. I'm not disclosing that information. I just think it's confidential. Know, okay. Okay, so let me give you this scenario then. If your best friend, a.k.a. me, I have a boyfriend Ooh, who's a... I got to b- lift up my uh, <laughs> fin. <laughs> <laughs> So mermaids got coochies. <laughs> I'm sweating. It's hot up under you. You have feet already? <laughs> Ariel is God. God always answer my prayers quick. You can't lift up your fin. It don't work like that. Yes, you can. Oh, my I God. I just did it. This is why this is a tubi, bitch. <laughs> Only in the little mermaid Ooh. tubi version is Ariel lifting up her fucking fins, bitch. <laughs> Girl, get the fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, if your best friend's a billionaire, mm-hmm. boyfriend, so my boyfriend, he's a billionaire, mm-hmm. he offered you $100,000 a month for an affair. A month. Every month. Depositing it. Would you do it? I'll come talk to you about it. Okay. I'll be like, Lex, mm-hmm. this man said he'll give me $100,000 a month if I fuck on him. Mm-hmm. I'll give you 20 20 <laughs> Oh, Lord, let me take my crown off. <laughs> and, yeah, bitch, you know, you doing treason in this motherfucker. Bitch, your boyfriend, so you probably getting a lot of money already. Are you? Damn, I'm breaking you off for 20 p. 20 p. Every month, 25. No, we going to have. Going. We going to have. No, this is your nigga. We going to have. You already getting the money from him. But I got to still lay with him after knowing that he over there sucking your fins. Mm. You crazy. That's a good point. That's a good point. You crazy. A hundred K a month? We go I say we I say we break that nigga. So this is what that's we That's what I say. This is what we would do. I would come tell you though. Yeah, like, you gotta come. I was thinking the same thing. That's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Oh, facts. Now I agree I'll with that. I'd be like, Lex, this dumbass nigga. And I will say this. If you're the girlfriend of the billionaire and you be like, ah, baby, how could you? You a dumb bitch. Cause y'all supposed to come up with a plan together and run it up. Run it up. So I would say this. If it was you, on the other hand, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to say, this is what we're going to do. 
We need to split it up, 50, 50K a piece. And we need to do it for like a year. Really How you gonna tell me? Because I run this. I'm talking about if you were the boyfriend. <laughs> oh. You were the girlfriend of the I was boyfriend. About to say. Baby, you don't run shit because we ain't gonna get no money, bitch, fucking with me. Because I'll tell you, bitch, he offered me 50 and he ain't 25. It's <laughs> nasty. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So see, look, see how hoes be trifling. <laughs> see how I'm a good Samaritan, and this hoe is a. So how long? But how long we gonna run this plan though? How we gonna? How long we gonna run it? For about a year? Two. Two? You look, you look, you know. I'm not gonna lie. It's not on a lot of attractive a billionaires out there. Four M's real quick. Yeah, you right. I like the way you think. Honestly, it can go on forever. For all really I could. care. I mean, I don't really care either. I really wouldn't. Because I had me another nigga on the side, dummy. Same. Bitch, I already had one anyway. Like, <laughs> stupid ass nigga. So, do I believe everybody can be bought? Yes, I do believe everybody can be bought. Do I think Dre would take uh, a little scat play for 50 million? I absolutely think she would. I think she would pick it up and do a smiley face on her face, actually. Because you're lying, bitch. Mm. 50 million dollars. I'm about to roll around in that shit. Thank you. That's disgusting. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Okay, okay. Oh, God. I, all right, all right. That's wild. All I'm saying about is... Put it, and then you said put it on my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely the fuck Okay, not. okay, 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 okay. Absolutely Let me not speak for I'm joking. But I will say, I do, honestly, I really believe everybody has a price. But... What I will say, I like that you said that, Damn, though. you took your head off? Uh, hello, the queen was getting hot. <laughs> it's a little toasty in this bitch. <laughs> Too many tin crumpets. We don't sweat under the water. I'm not used to this. Oh, fuck you, we. <laughs> bitch, and I can't wait till you go back, bitch. You need to go back. I don't know why her can't wash you up the shore, but they need to take you back. Why? I'm tired. You, your roaches of the sea, your shrimp, your fish, your cabbage I'm crab. I'm looking for keys. <laughs> My prince. <laughs> this is the most hood little mermaid I have ever seen. I've had enough. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, I like the fact that you said that, though, that there's something that you just wouldn't do. Because that lets me know that good people are still here. You know, people, people have morals. Necessarily good. I, no. You have morals. I I do, but that's not even a more. That's not necessarily a moral thing. It's just I don't like she. Mm-hmm. I don't even like when I she. Like I don't like. She. I don't either. <laughs> Cause baby, I don't like. You be cutting up. I don't like. Oh, I thought you mean you. Cause no. I was about to say that's another story for another time. <laughs> Why are you cutting up today? Why are you cutting up like this? What is wrong with you? Girl, what is you talking about? <laughs> what is you talking about? You what sounded you, like Roland Ray. What is you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that how, that's how the Boston woman before. What is you talking about? <laughs> what did you? <laughs> okay, so, like I said, I do feel I'm like sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we need to understand that not, money is not going to solve everything. That's what I'll say. So I feel like sometimes people do terrible things for a price, though, as well. $50 million will solve a lot. $50 million will solve a lot. But like you said, realistically, the things that a lot of people out there are doing for money, let's keep it real. Y'all doing some hoe-ass shit to people who really care about you for nothing. Y'all doing hoe-ass shit to people for nothing. Facts, when all you got to do is ask. Speak up. Say something. (laughs) Why are we agreeing? You were supposed to say no. Oh, well, I was... Sorry. My bad. Too far? Okay. (laughs) Well, I was kidding. I wasn't. <laughs> I sure wasn't. But, like I said, do I have a price? 100000 a month. 100000 a month? It say like 100000 though. It's like, I, that was my fault. That was my fault. But it I was a month? To, yeah, it was a month. It was a month. You it sure? Month. It, I'm sure. Because for sure. 100000 a nigga, a, a billionaire offering me 100000 Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You not, that's not, that's not life-changing. No, it's not. I mean, for, it is for some people. Let me not say that, but it's not for me. Yeah, me um, either. So, yeah, the, if y'all have a price, let us know what y'all price is, because I'm actually interested, because that yours? should be crazy. Uh, I told, I said this all the time. Please Spinach, don't. spinach dip? In a, a Cosmo. Mom, in a Cosmo, bitch. You done bought me. What you want to know? We about to have a good motherfucking time. That's terrible. A little dinner. That's all I need. That's terrible. Okay, 
Why? <laughs> We gonna get into talking about signs that you are a crazy ass bitch. Ooh. Cra well, let me say crazy girlfriend. A crazy, a crazy girlfriend. I'm not a crazy girlfriend at all. <clears throat> oh, so we're lying today. Is this going in with our costumes? I should have been not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you're not a crazy I'm girlfriend. A lying queen. Exactly. You're not a crazy girlfriend? No. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Signs you're a crazy girlfriend. What is the first sign somebody's a crazy girlfriend? I don't know. That's not a part of my ministry. That's crazy. That's crazy. First sign that you're a crazy girlfriend when you're in denial. When you're in denial that you're crazy, because the first step is admitting. So the signs that you're a crazy girlfriend is that you really feel like you're not a crazy girlfriend. If you think that you're not a crazy girlfriend, you're a fucking crazy ass girlfriend. In order to be a crazy girlfriend, you gotta have a boyfriend. You and you had one. And he was a boyfriend enough. Ten years ago. That was a week ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So the first sign to me is that you're a crazy girlfriend and or boyfriend we'll say this either or we're gonna keep it open i feel like this if you call somebody and they don't answer i'll give you phone call number two because it might be an emergency they phone might be on dnd &D, and you know that second phone call gonna go through if you call more than twice you doing too much i don't do that okay I didn't, this ain't about you. Check that off the list. Okay. We not talking about you no more. Because let me tell you who not calling the nigga phone more than twice. Yeah. So any calls more than twice, you crazy. Then if you be sending them back to back to back texts, you crazy. Damn. Oh, we know you about to, we know that you meet the criteria. <laughs> oh, already out. Because, baby, I'm calling four, five, six, baby. Mm -mm. I don't give a fuck. If he don't answer the first time, why he gonna answer the th like y'all? I, wondering... I don't understand. Cause answer this for me, <laughs> girls who call y'all man fifty times or whatever when y'all think he doing something, y'all yes. think he about to stop fucking? If he fucking, he gonna still fuck. I he still I, I actually stop what I'm doing. I walk to the bathroom. No, you don't. You don't. That, was you there? Yes. Actually, you were. <laughs> <laughs> Plot twist. Plot twist. Plot points were made. Points were made. The TL. <laughs> okay, so another another sign that you're crazy. You say too many text messages. The back-to-back -back text then? Yes, calling all the time, back-to-back -back text then. Okay. You crazy for sure if you pop up. No, I have did it. Okay, before. that's what I was about to say. Come on, Ariel, bitch. It wasn't You know you swam over there to that canal, bitch. And got to work. Bitch, I don't go to canals. Where you was at? I be in the deep blue sea, bitch. <laughs> Where the kingdom resides. So, yes, you popped canals, up on Canals, it's giving canals and alleyways. We don't do that. Okay, so you popped up on somebody before. Hell, That's a sign that you're crazy. It wasn't really popping up per se, though. It depends on, you know, you, what do you humans say? <laughs> <laughs> What did you do? What do you call it? It depends on what you humans say your definition. <laughs> of popping up? Yeah, of popping up. Like, it depends on what you feel. Like, you know they didn't know you were coming. Because I ain't got a car. I just be swimming places. <laughs> <laughs> I end up where I end up. Okay, so when you popped up on this person, how far was the drive? Just out of curiosity. I don't drive. How far was the swim? <laughs> the fuck? A few kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long way. How how long did you swim? Um, <laughs> it was it was it was it 
wasn't breathing. <laughs> exactly. That's crazy. I went out my way. The whole swim there, you didn't think. I hmm. swam past the Titanic. <laughs> you didn't think. You didn't think. That's far, you know from, what? That's far from my hood. <laughs> you didn't think on the way there, maybe I shouldn't do this. No. Crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Poseidon told me to go. He said, yeah, do what you gotta do. <laughs> you are so full of shit. <laughs> this is wild, okay, bro. another side I'm of talking about my real life experiences. You think this is a joke? You you said you swam to a nigga house. You I did. You're sick. I did. You're sick. How else would I get there? I have no feet. <laughs> Next sign. <laughs> Next sign. <laughs> Next sign that lets me know. That you are a crazy girl. I de- no, the social- real shit. I stopped like <laughs> let me stop playing. I definitely popped up on a nigga before, but it wasn't really popping up because he told me I could come. When did he tell you that he could come? That same day? Or yeah. He- okay. He told me I could come that same day. He just ain't know when I was arriving. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is another sign that you're a crazy girlfriend. I'll put this very broad. Social media antics. If you the type of girl that'll be like trying to put a nigga on blast or guy, put your girl on blast, putting y'all business out there. If people that don't know you, literally don't know you from a can of paint, they don't have your phone number, they literally just follow you and they know all of your business because y'all post everything, you're a crazy partner. Mm -hmm. I think that is so weird and crazy when people be like, oh, fuck at X, Y, oh, oh, fuck Dre and Nicole, she out with a nigga tonight, oh, I'ma show you. Or, you know, people do shit like that. No, people definitely, and I can honestly say, I have never been that way. Mm -mm, I do not put my business on social media. But we don't have phones. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You're about to go under the sea for real, bitch. You better fucking calm down. Because why are you like this? You're t- you see, this is a point. You're taking it too fucking far. Okay? Because <laughs> your phone... We don't have social media. Okay. I'm not a C. If y'all have phones, I'm not a C. Are you mocking Sebastian? And is. Okay, wait till we clip your ass. <laughs> okay, so yes, that's a sign of craziness on social media. I feel like putting your business out there, another sign of a crazy girl, friend, or boyfriend, is if you know what they do on social media. Mm-hmm. And when I say that, it's like looking at their likes. On Twitter, you can see what people like. Y'all remember on Instagram, you used to be able to see when people like shit. You can't see that no more. But... If you a a crazy girl, you might go to his ex page or go to a girl page that you know he and see if he liking her stuff. You see if he commenting. That's sign that you crazy. If you doing investor gadget type shit on social media, you're probably crazy. As a bad bitch, why you worry about another hoe? That's what the crazy girls do. Mm-mm. I we talking about crazy it's girlfriends. Bad, it's not giving bad bitchery to be worried about it's, the next. We talking bitch. about crazy girlfriends. We talking about crazy. I mean, I guess craziness. if you crazy, you ain't logical. But this is not a logical topic. I do feel like like what like niggas is gonna like pics. I don't care about niggas liking pics. I truly don't. I don't care about a nigga liking bitches pictures. And let me tell you also, if you go looking for dirt, I've learned you gonna find it. Every time. Stop, stop trying to set yourself up to get your feelings hurt. Your feelings gonna be hurt every fucking time. I just feel like, why are you look like, yes, why are you looking for shit? And who cares if a nigga like a big picture? Mm, I mean... I don't care about that type of shit. This all goes into social media stuff. Though. Liking is liking. Linking is linking. Fucking is fucking. That's too this much. all three different things. Yeah, I don't want you doing none of that. I don't Oh, yeah, the liking. You can whatever. like it. As long yeah. as it ain't like no pussy. What? long as you ain't liking no pussy. Oh. <laughs> okay, but let me say this, though. You know, a lot of Twitter times, is wild. Yes. Twitter is a wild place. Yeah, like, if you like it. a lot of pum pum on there. Yeah. But I also feel like a lot of men, what they do, with, like, what we do, if we see something we like, what we do, we go like his pictures, and they slide in the DMs. That's our thing. Yeah, I feel like for What sure. if a nigga's doing that, too? He's liking a bitch pictures, hoping that she gonna slide. I feel like maybe that is what you're doing. But, okay, if she slide, you won't tell that hoe no, because I'm going to slide her. That's not happening. Because then I'm going to slide. <laughs> That's not going to happen, though. He going to slide, Wait, and he's not going to find out. Mm. Hmm. 
That's another crazy girl. That was fighting a bitch. <laughs> fighting a bitch. Why is you fighting another bitch? Fight your nigga. I'm gonna slide him first. But I'm just saying, fighting over everybody. A man... get... Everybody gets slid. Fighting over a man or fighting over a woman, fighting over your partner, whatever they identify as, is crazy behavior. You should not fight over another human. If you got to fight over another human, that relationship not worth it. It's not giving queen behavior. Girl, we not gonna act like you a... You see this? I would never do that. I would never... Don't play like that. This is low vibrational. You drank too much. You see this right here? They look at that cup. They gonna say, that's not a queen. They gonna say, this is royalty. They gonna know the difference. You see all that? Dark lipstick is too dark. <laughs> I'll never let them play with me like that. Bitch, I like low vibration sometimes. <laughs> low vibration will be working for me. No, see? That's your fucking problem. Crazy. You're crazy. So... Says who? I think that you're a crazy Bitch, girlfriend. Who, who is you? Who is you? <laughs> Low vibrational, <laughs> watch your mouth. You are talking to the queen. <laughs> Bitch, who are you? Your majesty. To call me crazy. I'm your majesty. Were you crazier than me? <laughs> <sighs> Don't play with me like that. <laughs> Let's move on, bitch. Cause... Oh, you don't want to get into that. Because <laughs> you know what? Mm -mm -mm. I am tired of talking to these peasants. Why well, get it? Okay. Bitch, my daddy is the king of the sea. What is you saying? What's your daddy name? <laughs> <laughs> daddy. You are trash. Papa. I'm fucking weak. King. It's king Leonidas. King, Isn't bitch. It? Oh, I'm talking about 300. Is it... <laughs> <laughs> what's his name? Hold on, look up Ariel Daddy. Type Ariel oh Daddy. Oh, my God. What's, what, what's her daddy name? Ariel's father. You gonna put Ariel daddy. <laughs> <laughs> what is Ariel daddy I love? What is it? Damn. I was wrong. You was. I'm you don't know my daddy name neither. Girl, fuck you and Triton. Who is the queen of hearts daddy? Girl, I don't know that man. <laughs> Shit. Girl, fuck you. Okay, so let us know what are other signs that you have a crazy partner or maybe that you're a crazy partner. Now a word from our sponsor, Better Help. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know we have been in therapy for a long time at this point, so we're always going to instill it on y'all. If you are thinking about trying therapy, this is your sign to try it. Yes. One great thing about working with a therapist is that they make it easier to solve your problems, whether they're big or small. Mm -hmm. And the best thing about BetterHelp is that you do it all in the comfort of your own home. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do it via text, over the phone, FaceTime, they just make it to where you are 100% comfortable. Yes. All you have to do is fill out a brief survey and you can get matched with the therapist instantly. So for me, like I said, being on tour, you know, I lost my mom earlier this year, so it's just been so hard. So therapy has really helped me, you know, get into a better mood and feeling positive. So you're going to go to betterhelp.com backslash four minds and get 10% off of your first month. That's better. H-E-L-P.com backslash four minds and get 10% off, girl. Feel happy. Period. So now we gon' get into the big. Bow. The big. Bow. The big. Bow, 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 bow. Why do you always do that dance like it's 2003? <laughs> you my biggest hater. That's crazy. <laughs> you. I can see you being in the club I with the flips. Oh, oh my God. Do you know I used to wear my hair like that constantly? Oh, Layered with the big. You remember those plastic earrings? The big plastic hoops every time. Everybody wore the plastic jewelry, though. I had the bangles. I mm. wear, like, six of them. Mm. That's fine. That was a... That was all the rage. Okay! <laughs> I did not say anything! Why are you being so sassy, Ariel? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Uh... All the rage. Back in on seats. Hey, we all... You were very stylish in school. We have already said that, okay? I had my suspenders on. And I had my tie skeletons. on. I had my tie on. So why could you wear suspenders, but I couldn't wear a tie? Um, because I'm me. And I was a skater boy. And I'll see you later, boy. <laughs> Period. No, what's the name of that store? What? The store. That Hot Topic. Yes, that was my shit. Mm, what you know about 
Hot Topic. I used to get that penny hair dye. I had purple hair one time. Get the fuck. Leave me alone. You mad that I used to wear mini I'm panties? I'm not mad about it. You ain't the only one that was up on shit. <laughs> I'm not mad about it. You mad. You mad. Arrow is sassy. Okay. Under the seat, though. Okay. So, I have a little purple tube. How? In the water? That's crazy. Mm-hmm. I went up. <laughs> as long as I could. <laughs> Let me find my collar on this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I got to keep my cool today. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So, Ooh, today wait. we're going to talk about for the bad topic. you do with your daddy the king. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> that sounds like something like T.I. kids would say. <laughs> what? I need a napkin. Please. <laughs> That's Ooh. what you do with your daddy the king, period. What you know about that? Oh, no, that's right. Okay, so today for the bed topic, we are going to discuss sexual content as far as teaching people things. And why is it geared towards women all the time? Mm -hmm. If you notice, they have classes on, like, how to ride dick, how to suck dick, how to use the grapefruit in bed. Oh, do this positions and you'll never lose your man. Why is everything always geared towards women? I don't know, because let me tell you something. You was going to lose that nigga regardless. (laughs) Facts. <laughs> but haven't we learned? First of all, sex is not going to keep a man. You was, I swear to God, you was still going to lose that nigga. Mm-hmm. Mm. F- points were made. Mm-hmm. A point was made. I know. Mm. So, I feel like that goes into our society of, you know, they feel like you are a wasted woman or you're leftovers when you're a certain age and you don't have a man. You know what I'm saying? So that goes into us like catering towards that. That that's a misogynistic view. I can say that. Is that taking it too far? No, I think that's misogynistic. Yeah, it's misogynistic to have all this stuff geared towards us when, like we said before, it's like seventy percent of some seventy percent of women are not having orgasms. But agreed. It's totally opposite on the other end of men. More, way more men are having orgasms and finishing than women are. So why are we not I teaching mean, men? I mean, we say this all the time. Men can literally hump concrete and they gonna nut. Facts. So why are we not having classes for men on how to eat pussy? Why are there not classes on men on um, get I, your stroke right? I why is there not? I think you're taking it a bit far. Why? There are classes. I just think the niggas don't go. They need to There's classes. Because all the women are... I've I've never seen a class on how to eat pussy. I've seen classes. Mm. I've seen classes. Okay, okay. Well, I might have attended one. Was this under the sea? Mm. Okay, this one. (laughs) Okay, well, on Earth, they don't do that. It was definitely under the sea. (sighs) This is disgusting. (laughs) I need to roll me up. You got some seaweed (laughs) on you? (laughs) Because... I might have a little loud. Okay? <laughs> I hate it here. So this is what I have to say about it. I think content <clears throat> being geared towards women is also confusing the men. Because you know what? I tweeted something about how men's sex is not as good as they would like to believe. And yeah. how a that's lot those, of... But, but wait, wait, let me say... It's not for all men. It's not for all men. But you saying something like that, literally, if I say, okay... A lot of women are not having orgasms. You're going to have a thousand people respond to you and be like, oh, all my bitches satisfied. Every man on this earth thinks every woman that he's been with, at least more than half, are satisfied. Mm-hmm. And that's just not the truth. Well, I mean, but that also goes into women telling niggas, y'all dig trash, actually. But I think that goes into honesty, which we've talked about in the past episode, but that also goes into the media being geared towards us. Our pussy is broken. We not getting wet enough. We not doing this. <laughs> we not doing this. Exactly. Our pussies don't be broken a lot of the time. Sometimes we just maybe aren't turned on. Literally. Sometimes I be broken. If you go to the grocery store and you look at the magazines, I don't know about now because I don't really be paying attention, but I know, like, growing up, you would always see, like, Cos- what was it? Uh, what's the Cos- Cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan magazine will always have sex topics on the cover, geared towards how women can keep a man. What are we supposed to do to make sure our pussy stays tight? 
Literally, I remember seeing an article, I don't want to say it was on Cosmopolitan, but it was like basically on how to tighten up your pussy after birth. Hmm. After birth? Bitch, just get let out a fucking human. Mm-hmm. Why are we worried about how to keep our pussy tight, bitch? Like, we're trying to breastfeed, raise a human, but that's what society does. Oh, there's literally surgeries geared towards a reconstruction of your fucking vagina mm. to be aesthetically pleasing. Mm. I mean, don't get me wrong, not all vaginas are made the same, but that's okay. That's okay. Why is it always... <gasps> <laughs> Let me let y'all know. First of all, the we, niggas in the background like we no are in a way. room full of men, so they tune in like what? What did she say? Well, we we gonna take it back? Mm-hmm. But I'm just I'm being honest. You know, all vaginas aren't made the same. There are surgeries to fix it, but it's like why is it everything geared towards there's something wrong with us because, as women? Because like you said, it's like that's what society has been built on since day one. It's mm. all about women pleasing niggas. Like. Mm. It's all about women I, pleasing niggas and niggas having money. Everybody knows that. I hate it here. I hate it here. I mean, here. but it's what shit is. It's like if you a nigga with money, if you, I mean, if you a nigga without no money, you ain't got no say so. Mm, okay. And if you a bitch who don't please your nigga, you ain't got no say so. So do you it's feel no like, use for you? Do you feel like the man, I'm not saying it's okay. But let me. But I'm saying <laughs> that's how society. That's is. how society is. That's how it's been, and I don't think that's going to change. But let me, especially because a lot of women don't want to do anything. They don't be wanting to work, and they don't be wanting to make their own money. They just want a nigga that's gonna take care of them. So you can't want a nigga who's gonna. You can't want to be with a man who is gonna want to take care of you, and you don't want to go to great. To, to please him mm. if you're not doing nothing else. So, like you said, it doesn't matter. Like, the men with the money have to say so. So, do you think... The men that, with the money got to say so. So, do you feel like they're keeping that, that this rhetoric alive, this conversation alive as far as, oh, women need to please the men. Women need to do everything to please me. Do you think the men with the money are driving this conversation? Probably, but I feel like if you got a nigga who got money and he's do everything that he's supposed to do and he do everything for you, why wouldn't you go out of your way to please him? But what if it's what if what if like he's pleased but you're not pleased? So when can you step in and be like, hey, you need to step your dick game up, or you need to do you need to be more romantic or whatever it is? Because what do they do too? They be trying to oh, step your dick up for it crumble. You know what I'm saying? Something step it up. But what do they say? Oh, a way to a man's uh, heart is his stomach. You're supposed to feed him, cook, clean, do all this and do all that. Then that dick gonna be lazy. But what I'm saying is they don't ever teach men. There's never magazine articles on how important it is to just make your woman feel special, buy her flowers every now and then, make her feel good, this and that. It's always geared towards us. So do you feel like... That's not true, Lix. You're taking For the shit most part. too far. It's definitely articles and stuff that tell men what they need to do to be chivalrous towards their women. That's facts, but men don't read. So, <laughs> bitches don't neither. <laughs> Everybody don't read. Bitch, it's a lot of people that don't read <laughs> as much as they should. I'm not trying to be funny, but yes, you're right. Maybe Cosmo has wrote articles about that. They probably have. So, let me say, you know, whatever. They probably do. But what man is picking up Cosmo magazine to, to read it, to be honest? I mean, again, because I feel like traditionally men have not been taught that they have to please a woman. They just have to provide. Mm. So what can we do to change that? I feel like you need to tell your nigga his dick trash and tell him what you like. Mm. Within your means, though, bitch, don't get kicked out. Because <laughs> I ain't... They gonna be like, and don't say I said it. Oh, they got it on tape. You can't come stay with me. I'm fucking weak. So, how I feel about the media, I think that it's silly that everything is geared towards the women to step their game up. I feel like we all need to take. I think everybody needs to step their game up. I feel like I personally am not going for that. I feel like that's why I'm still single right now because I want to be with a man who got money and I want to be with a nigga who got fired. And is romantic. Yeah, I mean, of course, the list goes on and on, but that's more specifically what we talking about. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You don't want to have to choose. No, I don't want to have to choose because I feel like I can have all that shit. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? Women have to choose between a man who has money and then, like, has the time... Or they have to choose, like, it's either, like, he got money and he ain't got no time. He's not really that romantic. Or you can have a man that don't have as much, but he got time, he's romantic in this. Men don't have to choose between, like, oh, a bad bitch with money. Because a lot of a lot of bad bitches got money. It's not... Well, first of all, 
If we talk about niggas with money, most of them don't want bitches who got money. But I'm just saying, women have to choose between two extremes. Men really don't. Men don't have to choose between two extremes. Because usually men are the providers, so they have the luxury of choice. I hate it here. I'm going to have the luxury of choice, because you know what? I mean, same. I agree. That's I why I said, I'm, that's why I feel like I'm single, because it's like, I'm not going to be in a relationship or settle down with somebody until it's like all of it. Oh. And, and don't get me wrong, it could be, like, nobody is going to be 100% right, perfect, right? Right, 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 right. Like, this nigga might meet 85% of my criteria. I like 80%. how you threw that in there. Yeah, he might meet 85%, 80%. <laughs> And then we have to work on the other 20. Okay. And that's cool. Damn, your math bad. That's under the C. That's under the C. 80%? And then you have to oh, work on the said, other 20? I thought you said 85 Your math bad. <laughs> I said, damn, Ariel. That's above the C. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, like go, ahead, I was go saying, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So, yeah, like, you know, maybe 80% of you, cool. The mm. other 20%, we got to work on it. That's fine. Okay. But six. It's non-negotiable. So that's a non-negotiable for you. Like, nothing can be worked on. And you being successful is non-negotiable. Mm. Now, other things... We Watch can... out, Bernadine. That... It was getting close. Don't do that. I'm, I'm sorry. a fool with the matches. <laughs> They're growing on me. You know, They're I'm talking about uh, Bernadine from Waiting to Eat. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I'll set your little crown on fire. See, this is why you love her. You're never supposed to touch a queen's crown. Well, a queen ain't supposed to put it on the table. It's not... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm not a queen, bitch. I'm a princess. <laughs> what? what? You got an excuse for everything. What? Let's move on. You the queen, bitch. Clearly as not. Long, as long as you know. Ooh. As long... <gasps> what? Ain't it gonna set me? Bernadine! Let's move on. Cause you cutting up today. You about to get a pop. Mm -mm. Okay. Go get, get into, into the beat. The Bible. <laughs> the Bible. Ooh, bow, 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 bow. You are cutting up today. Dre is cutting up. Bow, bow, bow. The cut up, period. Bow, bow, bow. Okay, so you want to go first? You want me to go first? You can go first. Okay, so. Because you told me my Bible is trash. I, it, it, now, see, now when you say your Bible, they're going to know I said it was trash. Well. I just, it's not my flavor, oh, okay? Um, my Bop of the Week is a song by Emotional Oranges. It's called Petty. Shout out to uh, Rory, you know. This is this is his, uh, I guess they're a group, mm -hmm. you know, thing. So, yeah. Emotional Oranges, honestly, they've been my Bop of the Week before, but I really fuck with them. I love vibey music. Like, this is the music that you light your candles to, roll your seaweed up, mm. you know, whatever you want to well, do to. I can't really light like candles down there, but I feel you. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so Emotional Oranges, Petty, that's my bop of the week. Um, and one thing I do, I will say, I'm very into actual lyrics. And I love what they say on their songs. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like they always are talking about something relatable. Very good. So, yeah, Emotional Oranges, Petty, that's my bop of the week. Period. Okay, my bop is Better Things by Sierra and Summer Walker. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yes. I think it's cute. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's a very cute song. I did not say anything. Okay. S shout out to Sierra. I think that, you know, she enjoys making the, um, you know, the mch, mch type music. You know? What is oomch, oomch? Oomch, oomch. Oomch, oomch. You know? Because she can dance. Facts. That's like that dancing music. You, you know what? This, able is, to pop but this is what it is. And I will also say this about Today. Sierra. She's at the point in her career where she can do no wrong. I'm going to support whatever she does. The looks in the video were fire. Yeah, I mean, I thought they looked really cute. They and looked I amazing. Like Summer looks amazing. Sierra looked amazing. I'm not going to sit up here and be like, oh, I look, because I, I don't, the song is not my, but that's not my style of music that I listen to. Mm -hmm. but, you already listen to Summer Walker, though. What? 
I guess I do. You do? Absolutely. Mm. Yes, I love Summer's got that. She got, you know, not as many people have that. It's only a few people have a voice like butter. I told you that she got one of them voices like butter. No, yeah, she do. She do. But I guess I'm just thinking about like, I don't know. We've never really talked about Well, the reason I don't like talk like about, and this is the thing, I don't talk about because I feel like artists like Summer Walkers, that it's very rare that you're gonna see me you, shout out a mainstream yeah. artist. Cause they already have the public like I try that to makes sense. I try to look for like indie type artists, mm -hmm. but I do listen to Summer. I definitely yeah. Do. So, but yeah, shout out to Sierra Summer. Beautiful girls, beautiful mm -hmm. gowns. Beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know who got the most fire merch in the game. 85 and poor minds, of course. Period. So y'all been asking about our rap tees that we had on tour for the longest. Our tour tees and the rap tees. They are both on the site right now available. Y'all go ahead, go to buypoorminds.com and get your t-shirts before they sell out. Yes, and also y'all know it's about to get cold outside and 85 just dropped some fire merch for the women. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, they got that all brown fit, the all blue fit, the red. It's going super, super crazy. So make sure y'all go to 85 apparel.com and get you a fit. I'm telling y'all, it's super comfy. It's airport outfits. You know, a little sneaky link outfit. Mm -hmm. Whatever you need. And I'm telling y'all, they are not restocking this, okay? It's exclusive for this season. So make sure y'all go to 85apparel.com buypoorminds.com and get y'all merch right now. Yes. Okay, so now it's time for us to get into our favorite segment of the show, which is uh -oh. Pour Your Heart Out. Mm -hmm. So you know if you have any questions, you can always send them to ask minds at gmail.com. That's A-S-K-P-O-U-R-M-I-N-D-S at gmail.com. Send us your questions. Send us your testimonials. We want to know, you know, if we helped you or if we fucked your life up. Either way, we want to know. Okay. So, question number one. Hi, ladies. My name is Nakia, mm. and I'm a Patreon member. My question is for Lex. I often hear you talk about your reader, Sade. Spill oh. check. Does she have a social media or website? I wanted to get a reading done by her. Thanks. Okay, let me look up her Instagram right now. It's crazy because people ask me about her all the time. I love Shaw. Oh, oh, I found it too. I didn't have to wait. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the description. The bio. Um, I'm gonna spell it out because I don't know how to actually say it because she changes her name so much. But on Instagram, it's B I S A L O R I. So it's like B S A L O R I on Instagram. Shade is absolutely amazing. When I tell y'all the affirmations that she's given me, the readings that she's given me. It's, it was really like um, a lot of peace that I found. So yeah, that's my reader. She's absolutely amazing. She's Nigerian, shout out to my girl. Uh, she lives in Houston. So yeah, and everything that she does, she can do it virtually because obviously I'm in Atlanta. But yeah, so it's B. Salori. I hope I'm saying that right. But yeah, that's Sade. Uh, you'll find her, I'll put the link and I'll let her know. So, you know, yeah, shout out to my girl. All right, my turn. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead, queen of hearts. <laughs> Question two. Hey, ladies, I've been talking to this guy for a few months, and when we first started talking, we really hit it off. I'm 21, and he's 25. He later informed me that he lived with somebody. Not just anybody, but his ex. They broke up two weeks prior to us talking. He told me that when the lease was up in July, she said she would take her name off and move out. Of course, when that time came, she didn't budge. I never asked any questions about her because I felt like she wasn't my concern. But one day, he asked why I didn't want to know anything. He mentioned something about her age, and it never occurred me to ask. But since he said something, I told him to tell me. She's 38 years old. I found it strange that she would be talking to somebody that young and also living with them. From what he has told me, she don't have a car, and she wasn't paying bills at the time. To me, 38 is too old to not have something of your own or going for yourself. Do you guys think this is a weird or normalized age gap? Would it be a form of grooming in your eyes? Also, am I dumb for still talking to him? Him. I've grown to appreciate our friendship outside of the fuckery. We have great conversations and enjoy each other's presence, so I'm not leaving him alone. They must live in Atlanta. Because first of all, to me... That sounds normal out here. Exactly, but if you're talking to somebody and they tell you they live with their ex, that's a red flag. You made the, the silly decision, but you're only 21. 
So I'm going I'm to give you a little break. And it could also be grooming because I do kind of feel like what do a 35-year-old want with a... Tw- I mean, a 38-year-old woman want with a 25-year-old man? It's definitely giving grooming. That's like a huge age gap for mm-hmm. sure. Like, I have nothing in common with... I'm 31 and I don't have nothing in common with a nigga that's like 27. So mm. I just feel like a 13-year age gap is huge. Yeah, that's um, that's a little too big. And like I said, I feel like... We have to stop ignoring the red flags. And I feel like you're at that age where I can tell you this right now. I'm 33. You're 21. Listen to me. Stop ignoring red flags. If this is just a friend and it's platonic, cool. But if it's anything more than that, it's probably not what he's telling you. It could be a 38-year-old woman who's taking care of him. You have to stop believing everything these niggas say because, honestly, think about it. If somebody breaks up and two weeks later they're trying to move on, that says a lot about their character. You've been with somebody for X amount of time and all of a sudden it's just two weeks later and you ready to move on? I don't trust it. And I just don't feel comfortable dating. Like, if if a nigga really serious about you, he needs to get out the house. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. They need to move apart. They need to live separately. Because I feel like if a man is really interested in you and he Mm -hmm. really, really likes you, he would have... If her name... She said her name was on the lease... She said she was going to take her name off the lease. Yeah. A real nigga would have been like, oh, you know what? You can stay here. Keep your name on the lease. I'll go. I'm a move. Yeah. I'll go. I feel like that's weird. Like, mm-mm. I wouldn't feel comfortable. Yeah, so, girl, I was saying... Not with Bernice in the building. She got her nails just like this. Fucking with Bernice in the building is wild. Mm. Okay, so... <laughs> First of all, in this one... I like it. You know? I like it. I'm scared, because you've been real sassy today. I don't want to get beat up. I don't want to get beat up. I really don't. Um, Girl. So, if you want your question answered on the show, make sure you email us at askpoorminds at gmail.com. Um, subscribe to the Patreon. What are we going to sing today? We ain't even picked a song. Ooh, you know what I want to sing? What? Come on. I think that I want to sing Return of the Mag. We already sang that, but we can do it again. No, okay. Well, let's not sing No, it. let's... But I want to sing something because... <laughs> Why did he try to get our pages deleted? I hate on, it here. On Instagram. I think we need to do Return of the Mac again. But then we came back in less than 24 So hours. it's giving Return of the Mac, yeah, because you know what? Let me say this to y'all. <laughs> what you about to say? Whoever the fuck keeps reporting <laughs> my page, because you mad because a bad bitch was under the sea? I'm still going to come back every time, and I'm not going to stop. Y'all saw me on that river floating. No scene can't stop, won't stop. No. Good song. Uh, you know the lyrics? Can't stop, won't stop. Mm-hmm. 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 Like Christmas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was two different songs, my bad. Like Christmas? Bad beach every day, like Christmas. You ready? We haven't done this song in a long time. I don't want, okay. Give me a snap. Should we do it? Yes! Hurrah! Uh, come on! Oh, uh. oh, well, I tried to tell you so. Hey, yes, I did. But I guess you didn't know. Uh. This is how the story goes. But baby, now, now I got the flow. Because uh. I knew it from the start. Uh. Baby, when you broke my heart. Oh. Oh, that I had to come again. <laughs> and then show you that, that I'm real. real. You lied to me. All those times I said that I loved you. When you lied to me. Yes, I tried. Yes, I tried. When you lied to me. Even though you know I died for you. When you lied to me. Yes, I cried. Yes, I cried. All right, turn of the man. Oh, yeah. All right, turn of the man. <laughs> come on. All right, turn of the man. Here I am. Yeah, yeah, I'm, oh. I'm, 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 <laughs> Thank y'all so much for tuning in. We'll see y'all next week. Tuta. A little girl. Once my pearl. What does that mean? A bop. Princess of the sea. Okay. This, oh. <laughs> you gotta take this costume off, bitch. Why? I done had enough. You done had enough. Mm-hmm.